This past week, the Going Viral Festival presented a work by Jordan Flaherty. Everyone, please enjoy The Lines of Our Lives. Honey, are you ready to go? I'll be ready in a moment, Charles. Hold on. You know, if you were reasonable at all, you would have only brought one of these things. We already know I'm not reasonable. You can joke, but I'm the one who's going to end up carrying that stuff through the airport. Somebody, the terminal. somebody has to go visit Sarah. Glad it isn't me. So, um, what will you do while I'm gone? Miss you. I have to tell you something before I go. What is it? I saw you that night. You what? I saw you holding Eileen two weeks ago after we fought. I went to her house to talk to her and I saw you. Why are you only telling me this now? Well, it's just going to be you alone in the house and for so long. Are you saying I'm going to sleep with Eileen? I'm not saying you'll do anything. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I just want to be good for you. I can't believe you would accuse me of this. I'm not accusing you of anything. Come on, Anna. Give me a break. Charles, please. You can't understand. This is the ninth time you've cheated on me. So now we're counting? Nine times you've broken my heart. Nine times in six years. I get it! I don't want to leave like this, Charles. I don't want you to leave like this either. I need you to tell me that you love me and that you don't have feelings for Eileen. I... I... I love you. Really? No! That's the line. Oh. How many times do we have to run the script before we get through it? Nine times, I... Yeah, I quit after that. I'm sorry I keep messing up on lines. I'm just distracted. You sprung the news on me kind of quickly. No, it's fine. I get it. I can't believe this is your last day on the lines of our lives. Yeah, I know. And then you leave for New York. Soon. The theater wants me there early. New show and all. Originating a part on Broadway. You're gonna live the dream. I can't wait. You know, for once I can actually relate to how Charles is feeling. Oh my God, don't start. It must be very hard for him. I, he's getting left behind while Anna moves on to better pastures. Anna could come back. She can't come back if you don't come back. They could recast me. They've done it to people before. That's not what I mean. What do you mean then, Brad? I'll miss you. What will you do while I'm gone? Miss you. <laughs> you have to admit, Charles can be sweet. Sweet? He's an idiot. Remember the first time he told Anna he loved her? <sighs> of course. It was after Melissa came out of the coffin and shot Scott. That was brave of him. He was thinking about mortality. Mortality? Yeah, they were at a funeral. I guess it's easier to be brave when you're thinking about the end. Can I ask you something? Yeah, of course. Why, why did you tell me so late? About leaving? Yeah. I don't know. It was just so much to deal with. You could have told me. I guess I felt like if I told you, it would be true. And that would have been too much to confront? Yeah. So you bottled it all up. Did I at least use a mason jar? I don't know if you can afford one on your new salary. Car! 
Harsh. Hey, at least you don't have to play Anna anymore. That alone is worth the pay cut. It is so tiring playing her day after day. Yeah. I can't believe she's still with Charles. Especially after the cheating fiasco. I know. Well, I'll still be here, stuck playing Charles. Hey, have fun with it. You're Brad Charles. It is I, Brad Charles. <laughs> It won't be so bad. It's nice, but I don't want to be here forever, you know. What if I quit Lines of Our Lives too? Really? You know we're the entire heart of this thing. What's the point of having Charles without Anna? That is a very un Charles thing to say. Are you really going to quit? No, probably not. I'll just have to figure things out now that you'll be gone. Everyone will have to. Especially the writers. I know. What do you think they'll do with you? Do you think you'll date Eileen? Or will they kill you off? I hope I don't date Eileen. Eileen. Oh, well, that would not be fun. I'm glad. Really? Soap Opera Digest would get way too excited. Oh, Soap Opera Digest, huh? You know they've had it out for me for years. Do you want to run lines? We have to shoot this in like 15 minutes. Can we talk about something? You can talk, but what happens when it's time to say your lines? Hey, you know I work very hard on my lines with my brother. Your poor brother. And he's always telling me I should be more forthright. Okay. When Anna says goodbye to Charles, uh, on page four. Yeah. When she says goodbye, is does, does she know it's for the last time? I don't think so. I'm wondering why the writers didn't pull out the bells and whistles for this one. I get that. I, I, I think we deserve a better goodbye. Well, now, look, pop out of the ground or levitate, or something. You know that's not our decision to make. I just, every time I read, I think this is how it ends, and I feel... Blech. Yes, blech. No goodbye that they write would be perfect. You're right. There's just too much that's ending. Do you ever think it's weird? What is? That we live this double life where I'm a cheating jerk and you're... A housewife? I was gonna say my wife. Same thing. Doesn't have to be. To answer your question, I do sometimes think it's weird living this double life. But sometimes I feel really lucky. On the show, I have license to feel things 110%. What do you mean? We can be as crazy as we want, and it's fine. It's free. Does that make sense at all? It does. You were right, by the way. I, I do bottle things up. I get it. It's a lot to leave behind. Yeah. Obviously, the hardest thing to leave behind is going to be me. Yeah, it will. Are you flying to LaGuardia or JFK? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> You have to be sure, Jocelyn, you're leaving tomorrow. Figure it out. Can you look it up on your phone or-, or... Brad! You idiot! What? You keep asking me questions. I'm sorry. You're like, 
I have to ask you something. And then you say something completely random, like, what airport are I flying to? Yes. But I know you too well. You do know me pretty well. I love you, Brad. And I don't want to leave like this. I don't want you to leave like this either. I need you to tell me that you love me. I love you. Is that the line? Our lives are just lines, but I love you, Jocelyn. Feels like bells and whistles to me. Thank you for enjoying Going Right Roll Festival's production of The Lines of Our Lives, written by Jordan Flaherty, directed by Devin Sinclair, scenic design by James Jackson, starring Amy Freer and Kevin McCann. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your quarantine. <laughs>